All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm out here in the countryside of the UK, England, looking lovely. Look at that, there's some greenery. And there's the old dog. But what is happening in this market? I wanted to make a quick video to go over the market, but also, most importantly, some new FTX news, troubling news that you need to be aware of and you need to act on this literally right now. With that said, of course, nothing in the video is financial advice. First of all, Bitcoin sitting comfortably right now. At around 16,850, up 1.62% today, which is pretty nice. Ethereum also up 4%. Solana continuing to go down on this news of their unlock. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure if Solana is going to do very well in the short term. I would love to scoop up some Solana at very low prices, you know, like $3 or lower would be quite nice. That's where I'm going to be looking at. I haven't decided if I will be dollar cost averaging there. But what's happening with FTX? So just uh, a few, about 12 hours ago, there was a post here for FTX. And uh, this is their official telegram saying FTX has been hacked. All funds seem to be gone. Uh, and also, we got the hack here. So there's a hack and FTX apps are malware. Delete them. So this is pretty intense stuff. So basically, if you have the FTX apps on your phone, just delete them right now. Hopefully you saw my video uh, whenever it was when we had time to get our money off FTX. I did the same thing. Hopefully you guys all got your money off. But delete the apps because apparently they're pushing out an update and it's going to have some malware in it. So it could corrupt your phone or get data uh, from you. All of that sort of stuff. You don't want that sort of stuff on your phone. So just get rid of it. Now, as well as that, uh, oh, I also just, I deleted my FTX apps as well. But uh, as well as that, we also have this $600 million hack. And uh, I don't know, I'm a bit skeptical, of course, speculation. Uh, but it's a little bit weird that they suddenly had a hack on FTX, drained $600 million all the while being insolvent and all of this sort of stuff. I'm not pointing my finger here, but I think it's very sus that this is happening. I'm sure Sam Bankman-Fried is currently on the run. I'm surprised that he hasn't had uh, any trouble yet, but I'm sure trouble is going to be coming because, of course, everything that's unraveled isn't quite what anyone was expecting or what should be happening with exchanges. I don't understand why exchanges continually get over leverage. It does my head in because these huge exchanges basically have a license to print money. So why are you messing around with customers' funds? Why are you acting like banks do in the real world when we are all here in the cryptocurrency space because we're meant to be changing it. It's just so frustrating and it's just like basically going backwards. So it's super frustrating. I do have a little bit of a silver lining with all of this going on in my head that while we're in a bear market, these big, uh, these big companies, institutions, whatever you want to call them, like FTX, crumbling now gives us uh, room to grow in the future. Now, there is going to be a lot more pain because of this. FTX held a lot of institutional money and I think we're going to have a, a quite severe ripple effects from this. So be prepared for this. Be prepared for Bitcoin to drop lower. There's still a potential for that to happen. Don't think it's happy days now. We do have the CPI data, which is looking nice. Of course, it's lo it was lower than expected two or three days ago, which is great for the market. We are having the stocks and shares markets have a little bit of a rally here. We've got the S&P 500 uh, up quite significantly, a couple of percent. It's not, not like crypto worlds, but this is good to see. And uh, I do think the market will get a little bit worse from where we are. But happy days. Things are looking good uh, uh, for the outside market away from uh, cryptocurrency. Now, we also have uh, CZ here. FTX uh, uh, aside, avoid businesses, exchanges and projects that are not prof profitable. Survive by selling their own tokens. Give high incentives for locking your tokens. Have large total supply. Uh, but only a small circulating supply and involves loans. This is a good piece of news uh, and advice for you guys to be following right now. And I am getting some questions uh, about different exchanges, like a message is, hey, Connor, do you think I should keep my money on this exchange or should I remove it? Now, my opinion is, unless you are actively trading, of course, I'm active, actively trading on BitGet. So I have some money on there where I'm actively trading. I'm currently in some positions now. If you guys do want to make the best of this volatility, the volatility with, for example, Solana, uh, you can do so with a $10,000 bonus down there in my description. But if you are not leverage trading or you're not short term trading, and this is money or cryptocurrency that you intend to hold for the long term, just get it off the exchange now. Move it into Trust Wallet or your MetaMask. Get yourself a ledger. Move it into cold storage. Get it away from the prying hands. And, you know, if you just simply 
bought crypto, uh, let's say back in the bull market and just simply dollar cost averaged and moved your money off these centralized exchanges that have gone insolvent, you've done better than all of these, these, uh, 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 you know, huge VCs that have gone to zero, right? Because they got crazy. They got greedy. FTX, Three Arrows Capital, et cetera, et cetera. The list goes on. You outperform them simply by buying, uh, holding and moving to cold storage. And a little bit of sprinkling extra would have been taking some profits in the bull market. This is what this channel is all about. Hopefully I do provide you with uh, a lot of information and giving you these updates. I do hope that you all manage to get your money off FTX before uh, uh, all of this happened. And uh, I was very happy to have given you that information when you still had time. I also gave it on my Patreon. So if you guys do want to come over and have uh, the the ability to chat to me directly. Uh, I'm over there. We have a bunch of different chats. We have daily market updates. We have help if you are a beginner, if you're going through or through different things. And uh, yeah, we can help you out. We can chat over there and uh, you get my trade updates and a bunch of other stuff. So if you want to come over, there's also a link down there in my description. Thank you for stopping by. Get your FTX apps deleted and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.